those people have been eating raw pork for 700 years. What's the big excuse about eating, why not to eat raw pork? Well, the excuse is that you're going to catch trichinosis. Do you even know what trichinosis is? Trichinosis is a parasite. It's a worm. It's kind of like a tapeworm, kind of like roundworm, ringworm, pinworms. Okay? That's what they tell you. Oh, you're going to catch this, and you're going to get sick, and you might possibly die. Here's the reality of the situation. Twelve people last year caught trichinosis in the United States. Twelve. Do you know what the other source of trichinosis is? Well, as hunters, you should know. It's wild game. Rabbits, walrus, bears. Twelve people. And you've been freaking out every time you cook some bacon and it's a little chewy. Your wife's probably been freaking out. Oh my God, we're going to die because you didn't cook the pork chops enough. How long has that myth been going on? Now, I'm not telling you to eat raw pork, but I'm telling you that maybe the, the fear factor of some, that somebody has put in your head since you've been born isn't quite correct. Okay, so where am I going with all this? Remember at the beginning of the video when I told you tolerance and global? Just keep repeating it, keep repeating it. Well, why would I keep telling you that? Well, maybe because when somebody says that, you know, they're going to cling to their guns and religion, that was going to be a problem for them that they were going to have to overcome. Because after seeing Zombieland, you're going to cling to your guns and your religion because are you going to tolerate that on the Mississippi River? Hell, we'll just have a barbecue next week. What do you think? You see, when I was a kid, I used to have to go to school and say the pledge every day. It was about the flag because there was Cold War going on. Russians were the big enemy. Then everything turned into international. International. Then about ten years ago, everything turned global. Okay, that's the new catchphrase. Tolerance and global. You're a world citizen. Okay, don't believe me? Watch these next two videos. I can make a difference. Around the globe. Collaborate across borders. Using the most powerful tools of our time. I can develop my skills. To turn borders into bridges and challenge into change. I can harness the power of leadership, storytelling, organizing, and advocacy to mobilize communities for global action and peaceful change. The Global Citizen Corps has really opened my eyes to the social issues of the world. We can help solve the global issues. We can break down our stereotypes. We can transform each other. And move the masses. We can create a different kind of future. A future where we are united in peace and understanding. I thought the youth in the West, they have the bad idea about our country. But after participating with them in the radio conference and talk with them, I found they are so kind and that surprised me. I think it's so important for, um, for us to be here, not only to have our voice heard, but to kind of demonstrate that young people can make a difference and together we can change the world. I found my 
the X Factor Give a little bit of yourself cause there's nothing like giving back to Change the world while you change yourself plus We see them smile when they least expect us I tell the world how the kids they help us To realize the power to send us I can't let go of the dream, long live the king Be the change that you wish to see Never fear, stand tall and take courage And give a little bit of yourself cause change comes Let's talk about the difference a year can make. Call or click for details. 888-4-CITY-YEAR. www.cityyear.org. City Year. Is this your year? Make sure you run right down and sign your kids up today. Do you see what I'm getting at? Did you catch the messages on those videos? The beautiful thing about the TV and the computer is that you don't even have to watch, watch what's on it to get that information because your buddy will sit there and watch it and his reality will shape your reality just through conversation it'll spread like a plague so you just have to remember every time you turn that TV on somebody's selling you something if we were going to war tomorrow with Mexico or South America or, or Argentina or something the shows you saw on TV would change overnight so beware of it because there's an agenda behind what you're seeing. And that's why I wanted to move your window today. Okay, y'all, hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to spread it around, post it, paste it, do whatever you want to with it. Leave me a big greasy comment. You know, I'm just going to go dump it in the river anyway. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Because this is the whole zone.